Wow. Um, I want to start by thanking all of our sponsors, the incredible board of directors of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, under the extraordinary leadership of our president, Linda Wyman. Um, I need to thank the fantastic Santa Barbara Film Festival staff. And um, over 700 volunteers that make this happen. It's been quite a journey to this evening, and it's amazing to be part of such a strong, powerful team. Um, it goes without saying that the past few months have been one of the hardest for everyone in Santa Barbara. We lost dear friends, people saw their homes and properties destroyed, and, and numerous people were evacuated and displaced. We're grateful for the first responders and, and And also, we're deeply grateful for all the organizations who are still working tirelessly to help those affected. Um, the devastation and the emotional toll it has taken on all, of, on all of us is not quantifiable. And it will be a long time until we're able to process all the emotions and get back to some sense of normalcy. Um, on a personal note, there were moments in December and January that I was close to losing faith. Um, I questioned what was happening all around me, and I know I was not the only one who felt that way. I felt a depth of depression and isolation I don't think I have ever felt before. Uh, what kept me going was understanding the role that the film festival had to play in the healing process of the community. I understood, uh, thank you. Um, I understood the immense power that film had, had, has had through history to bring people together. Um, bring people together to share experiences, bring people together to feel emotions as a community, to gather, to reflect, to experience, to feel and process. The magic of movies is not found in just beautiful or hunting images projected on the screen, but in the interaction that happens with your colleagues afterwards. Film has the power to unify us, to make us, less feel, to make us feel less fragmented as human beings. The events of the past weeks has, have fragmented this community. Um, we all felt alone, we all felt discouraged, but tonight and for the next 10 days, we're alone no more. Throughout the film festival, you're going to see our staff members wearing turquoise ribbons in honor of the victims and their families. Turquoise represents clarity of thought, balance, and harmony. It represents calmness and healing. These turquoise ribbons um, will also serve as a reminder um, to remember that we need to stand together and that our community will persevere from this as one. I wear this ribbon for Fabiola Benitez. I wear this ribbon for Jonathan Benitez. I wear this ribbon for Kaylee Benitez. I wear this ribbon for Joseph Francis Bleckel. I wear this ribbon for Martin Cabrera Munoz. I wear this ribbon for David Canton. 
I wear this ribbon for Morgan Christine Corey. I wear this ribbon for Sawyer Corey, 12 years old. I wear this ribbon for Peter Floret. I wear this ribbon for Josephine Gower. I wear this ribbon for John McManigal. I wear this ribbon for Alice Mitchell. I wear this ribbon for James Mitchell. I wear this ribbon for Mark Montgomery. I wear this ribbon for Carolyn Montgomery. I proudly wear this ribbon for Marilyn Ramos. I wear this ribbon for Rebecca Riskin. I wear this ribbon for Roy Roder. I wear this ribbon for Perry White Sutetita. Sutetita. I wear this ribbon for Pinit Sutitepa. I wear this ribbon for Richard Taylor. I also wear this ribbon for the missing, Jack Canting. I wear this live ribbon for Lydia Sutitetepa. And last but not least, I proudly wear this ribbon for the fallen firefighter, Corey Iverson.